गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग थर यू गुड मैम कैन आई हैव योर रेज्यूम टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ मॉर्निंग मैम आई एम साई तरुण आई कंप्लीटेड माय अंडर ग्रेजुएशन इन महाराजा विजयराम दशपतराज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग द स्ट्रीम ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग आई गेट सीजीपी ऑफ 6.42 and uh, during btech uh, i learned a lot other than academics like uh, communication behavior leadership leadership skills overcoming stress fear uh, i did my schooling in pegasusri vidyapeet uh, and secured cgp of uh, 7.3 uh, later after i com- completed my intermediate in narayana junior college uh, the cgp 82.3 Uh, where I learnt a lot, uh, like uh, uh, event organization, stress management. There are so many things about myself to mention about myself, uh, like uh, active, enthusiastic, uh, confident, uh, team player. Uh, these are things. Uh, uh, my professional skills is is fit for your. my professional skills is very good in your organization my short term goal is to get a job uh, uh, if company like you guys if you give me a chance i prove my self skills and my knowledge improve my knowledge my long term goal is to get a uh, respectable position where i work okay that's all about me okay. so can you explain about your project i think you have done your project in civil engineering right so i think you have done two projects huh? same one project one, one project, project only okay. okay explain about your project briefly uh, it's a uh, uh, development of geopolymer bricks by using fly ash and touch pad instead of uh, cement and fine aggregate here we use uh, some chemicals like sodium hydroxide and sodium silicate uh, because uh, compared to uh, cement bricks and the clay bricks this is uh, an environment eco friendly Uh, we found out uh, three molar, nine molar, twelve molar, six molar uh, to find out the strengths, compression strength, to the flexibility of the bricks. Okay. So, are you comfortable with which programming language? I think you are a civil background student, right? Uh, so, why you choose uh, IT setup that you want to settle in a software industry, right? I wish to change this an era. I believe that. Uh, i can prove my improve my skills and my knowledge to show my i think my okay so are you comfortable with which programming language java java so i will ask you some questions on java okay so what is the difference between jdk jre and jvm uh, java development kit is a software development environment which is used to develop the applications and tablets it physically exist uh, it contains uh, uh, java runtime environment plus development tools here applets is the uh, special type of program in embedded it is used in embedded in the web page the in the web page of uh, What is JVM then? Java Virtual Machine is an abstract machine. It is also called a. Uh, it is also called a virtual machine because uh, because it doesn't exist uh, physically. Uh, uh, it is uh, provide it, its specifications uh, to provide runtime environment that in which Java bytecode can be executed. Uh, Next, uh, Java runtime environment is a set of software tools which is used to develop the applications. It is physically exist. Uh, next, uh, it is physically exist. It contains uh, Java Virtual Machine plus uh, uh, other files at JVM at runtime. Okay. So, how many types of memory areas are allocated by JVM? Uh, there are five types, ma'am. Uh, mm-hmm. Class metal area, mm. uh, heap, stack, uh, 
a program counter register mm. uh, next we to stack method okay. first method is in this type of stores the class like uh, static variables mm. uh, static variables class class name methods uh, and constant pool etc when jvm start it creates in method area okay uh, what about keep it is usually generally stores in object by the application mm. uh, a programmer uh, restrict their size uh, to avoid the to avoid uh, garbage collection process okay so what about um, stacks stacks uh, jvm create one runtime stack in every thread mm. uh, that is present in the stack area uh next this is usually stored in the uh usually stored in the how stack is divided actually what order it will follow okay pc registers uh, program it is separate uh, each step has a separate program called the register this is usually stored in the current uh, address of execution to instruction of the thread. okay so what is native method library native method native method stack sir mm. similarly to the pcl it separate it separates the native method area creates for every thread it usually stores in the uh, to usually stores in uh, method okay. information okay is empty java file name a valid source file name yes java is allowed to allowed to store by dot java only we okay. need to compile it by java c java c so what is object oriented paradigm object oriented program is a uh, programming paradigm paradigm uh, that focus on the use of object uh, to to represent and uh, manipulate the data uh, manipulate the object or oriented programming data encapsulated within the objects okay so what is a constructor what are the different types of constructors are there uh, whenever we are creating an object some piece of the code will be executed automatically to initialization of an object mm. uh, the piece of the piece of code is nothing but a constructor the main object of uh, constructor is to initialization of an object uh, the types of constructor means uh, default constructor parameter constructor uh, copy constructor or uh, default constructor uh, if you are not writing any constructor then compiler generate uh, uh, default constructor if you are writing any type of uh, uh, of creating an uh, constructor then compiler won't generate any any won't generate any default constructor uh, hence class in java java class in java contain every some constructor uh, constructor uh, what is parameterized constructor then the constructor is having some have parameters is called parameterized constructor Uh, copying a constructor is used to copy from one object to other object is known as copy constructor. Okay. Uh, can constructor return any value? Uh, no. Can constructor can return any value? No, constructor does not return any value while declaring the uh, constructor. Uh, it, it doesn't return any type of uh, values. Uh, in, in general, constructor is implicit, implicitly called at the time of instantiation. okay uh, what is static method uh, static method is a static method is a method that calls the instance the class belongs to instance of class uh, here static method we can call without creating an object sometimes static method calls a class method okay uh, what is the difference between then then what is the difference between static method and instance method static method without creating we can call without creating an object uh, instance method required to create required to create an object within the class uh, static method associated with 
class in sex method is is associated with the object object okay uh, can we make the abstract methods static in java uh, if you declare a class in uh, method abstract uh, uh, to use it uh, you must override within the subclass um, but override cannot uh, uh if impossible to the static method uh, here uh, therefore uh, uh, abstract method cannot be a static abstract method cannot be a static static, static. okay that's fine uh, what are the main uses of this keyword we are having this keyword in java right so what are the main uses of this keyword this keyword is used in the uh, current object in the method or uh, constructor uh this mainly uses in is to el con eliminate uh, confusion between class attributes and uh, uh, parameters at, at the at the same class uh class attributes is uh, shadowed by the uh, method or constructor what is the difference between uh, super and this keyword super keyword is used to invoke the parent class in method or constructor this is usually stored in the fields of parent class uh, this keyword is uh, uh, is uh, re represent the instance uh, variables this keyword is okay then uh, can we use this and super both in a constructor this and super keyword cannot execute cannot use it in the same constructor both cannot execute at once uh, this keyword uh, can pass an argument in the method of constructor okay can we change the scope of the overridden method in the subclass yes we can change in the scope of overridden in the subclass uh, however we must notice that the uh, uh, x uh, the decreasing the accessibility of the method But the following point is by changing the accessibility of the method the private can be changed to uh, public protected or default okay so write a java program for lower triangular matrix okay write down the logic for that Parallelly, you can explain it. What you are writing on the board? First, create class name. Okay. Next, main method. Initializing some. Next, I am creating for loop for rows and columns.
here I am initializing some uh, for in the, I am using inner loop and outer loop and uh, inner loop for okay. creating rows and columns like first uh, i equal to 0, 0 less than 3 uh, goes to inner loop mm -hmm. uh, i j equal to 0, 0 less than 3 mm -hmm. 0, 0 plus 1, it will print 1 okay. inner loop uh, like that it will print 2, 3 uh, First, I am telling else loop, later I will tell if, 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 if condition. Okay. Uh, else sum 0 plus 1, 1. Okay. Uh, next, uh, to 1 less than 3, like uh, 1 plus 1, 2, like that it will print. Uh, next, if condition i less than z, j. Okay. Uh, here, I am taking indexes. Okay. Uh, I less than J. Uh, I zero, J J one. Next I zero J two. Okay. Next I one uh, J two. See here I less than J if condition. 0 less than 1. Okay. It will print 0. 0. Uh, next, uh, I 0, J 2. I 0, J 2. J 2. Uh, zero Again, the condition is uh, 0. Uh, zero. Uh, condition is satisfied, so it was printing 0. zero. Hmm. Next, uh, I 1, J 2. 1 less than 2. It will print 0. This is the output lower for lower triangle. Okay. How you are set. Okay. Your technical round is completed for you. For further information, our HR will contact with you. Thank you.